Alright guys and gals, are you ready to see some things? Some Pokemans? Well, have I got a video for you today. Cards. More cards. Ugh. Even more cards! These two things are pretty much, like, full of Pokemon cards. Because, and these are more or less the more rarer ones in my collection. Like, oh, Jesus, it's falling out. Alright, so, pretty much a lot of these, well, we got an Eevee on this side. Damn it, okay. And a, uh, Ultra Necrozma GX on this one. Now, I don't know, I don't really care too much about Pokemon. Must be real. Like, I mean, the games are great. I want to play more of those. Uh, I want to watch more of the anime, but the, I don't really care much about the trading card game side of things. Like, the trading card game to me, if I wanted to do that, I'll just go and play the Game Boy games. Because there's at least two of those. And if I really was desperate enough, I'd go and I'd play the, uh,. The online game that everyone plays when they talk about the trading card game. Jesus Christ, look at all these cards. I have, I guess you could say more rarer ones. Cinder Ace, is that what it's called? C Cinder C C Cinderella? <laughs> uh, C Cinderance V. We got that one. Black Kir- Oh, shit. Two Black Kirums. We had two of them. Woo! I got a... A Pikachu. That's a promo card. Vile Plume GX. Got a lot of those. When I'm talking about, like, GXs and Xs and... You know, these kind of cards. I tell you, if I ever sold my collection, I feel like I I would be <laughs> very, very rich. Because a lot of people go absolutely fucking crazy over, like, these kind of cards. And especially that I don't really use them. I don't really care about them, let's be real. Um, but like these cards, I think, would definitely be worth something if I were to sell them, because not only are they really rare, but, like, a lot of people go absolutely insane over these cards. These kind of cards. And I'm like, why? I don't know. I mean, I've seen, uh, cards go from just... And here's the thing, they're cheap. They're cheap to produce, okay? They're just like, I think, cardboard or something like that. So, why would anybody want to pay a hundred plus thousand for a card? I don't know. I've seen listings on eBay for... I get it, it's eBay. eBay, pe eBay people are insane. They will literally post something on there for a hundred thousand, even though it's not worth that. And then some fucking crazy person will buy that for a hundred thousand. And I'm like, why? Like, come on. I mean, if you wanna pay me that much, sure. I mean, I'll I'll go and and I'll 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 sell all these cards. I'll sell all of them. Like, if we're talking about <laughs> a couple hundred a piece or a thousand a piece. I'll sell all these rare cards. Then I'll go to like Walmart and shit and buy every card pack there is. Maybe go on eBay and buy the ones that they don't carry because like these cards are from different sets, obviously. Like this black Kirum, I don't know. But it's different. Uh. Uh, no, not that one. This one, I think. It's 
it's different, like different sets. And there are so many sets out there, I don't even know which ones come from where. Let's be real here. So, let's see, what else do I have? Okay. Uh, I got some Vaporeons, I got a Jolteon. I should really put these with the Eevee cards, because that's exactly what they are. They're Eevee, but evolved. So I have, like, two Vaporeons, a Jolteon, a Flareon. Ah, here we go. Uh, Cresselia, and a Celebi. So I got some more rare cards. Uh, Fion, I think is how you pronounce it. This one... A very interesting, uh, wishy-washy, wait, is that? Yeah, wishy-washy card. Uh, with some girl, I assume she's from Sun and Moon. Cause I feel like I've seen her before, what was her name? I don't know. But I think she was a water-type person. Ah, another Fionn. Now, somewhere... I, I swear, I have so many of, like, the same... I think it's in this one. Now, I'm, I'm obviously not going to show you every card. That would be ridiculous. This video would be ten decades long. Ah, here we go. Here's some more interesting cards that I ended up getting from a long time ago. Uh, this Entei card. This Entei is one of the very few like, shiny adaptations, because for some reason, like, they have all the Pokemon, just normal, but very rarely, very few, not even sure if this is the only one or not, has, like, a, a shiny version, because you can tell it's not really the regular Entei, it's the shiny variant. Um, Dark Rye Level X... Because people are insane for, uh, these things. I got a McDonald's card, I think. Uh, Cutie Fly. Now, some of these, I think, are, are potentially more rare than these. And I'll tell you why. Because whenever Nintendo, or, yeah, well, I guess Nintendo, technically, and, uh, McDonald's team up to do Pokemon... It always really seems to come with two things. One, a figure of a Pokemon, and a card. So, if you're collecting them all, and they have been doing this for years. Oh god, that voice cracked. But they've been doing that for years. Uh, probably decades at this point. And I'm just like, damn. Someone like me, it's going to be impossible to collect every single one, if I actually cared. I don't, um, because I don't, I don't even know how I managed to obtain this many. Uh, but I have two Mew cards for some reason, and this one says four on it. I don't know why. It just, I hope it's not on the actual, let me see, is, is, it, is it on the card itself? I hope not, because if it is... Well, this card just lost value. Then I didn't really take a look at it. Okay, nope. It's... Oh, it's probably LP or something like that. I don't know. But it's... Oh, it's something... Oh, it's a sleeve inside of a... Uh, yeah, because I don't really take these cards out. If they're in a sleeve, I leave them be. I don't really mess with these whole lot because I don't care and that they the people uh, these I probably got from like Amazon or eBay one of those two because they're this way I never put anything in protective sleeves let's be real I I, I stick them in ice cream buckets okay I, I have no life I put all the Pokemon cards in these kind of, of uh, things here Alright, let's see. A Howl card. Uh. 
Oleana? Oh, yeah, I think it's Oleana. Really interesting card. Looks cool. Uh, an Empoleon. An Agron. A Tyranitar. What the hell? Yeah, this is a Tyranitar, all right. A uh, a Lolan Executor. A regular <laughs> Executor. A Miss Sprite or a Miss Spirit, I think is how it's supposed to be pronounced. And uh, two Tapu Finnies. Finnies. Tapu f f f Finals. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these Pokemon, I swear. I don't know how to pronounce, so I'm not going to bother a lot of the times. But that's only like one basket or one thing full. Uh. There's a lot more. But where was the one? Okay, hold on. Is this where I had the original cards? And by original, I mean the original. Two Galarian cards. Was this... Or did I put him in the other one? Cause damn. Alright, let me show you just one stack. Just, just one whole stack of cards. It's this big. This big. Want me to make it bigger? I'll do that! Man, yeah, if I ever got rid of these cards, I would be so rich. Let me tell you what. And what would I spend all the money on that I'd get from selling these cards? I don't know. Probably video games. Because I'm a gamer. I'm not really a, a Pokemoner, I guess some people would say. Oh, wait. I think it's this one. Please tell me it is, okay? Jesus Christ. Okay. I think I might have another one. Do I have one in here? Oh my god, I do. Now, I think this is a, a legendary Pokemon. But I have five, for some reason, five copies of Hoopa. Which I think is supposed to be some legendary Pokemon. I don't know. I don't even know what's legendary anymore. We've gotten to that point. Almost a thousand Pokemon, and I don't know what's what. Let's be real here. There are so many Pokemon. I got a, I got a Venusaur. Infernape. Jeez. And probably most of what I'd sell is all the commons and uncommons because I can get those any time if I decided later on down the line I wanted a, 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 a Skrelp for some reason or a, a Cyndaquil um, I could probably find those really cheap online or just probably go and ask someone else and be like, you know what? Do you have this card? If you do, can I have it? I mean, it's a common card, so I'm sure anybody could get one. There's probably like 5,000, 5 million, 5 million thousand <laughs> in that list alone of just whatever. But yeah, I have so many cards. It is ridiculous somewhere. I don't know if it's in here or not. Probably in here. I... Oh no, it's probably in this one. I think it's, it's in this right here. I have a Lugia GX, I think it is. I don't know. 
I have so many rare cards. I tell you what, if I sold this this alone, and, and people saw the first top card, this is where most, if not all, the rare cards are. Aside from a few EVs and a few other ones. Um, but yeah. And I remember somewhere. Somewhere I have some really old... Oh, here, here they are. I have cards from, oh jeez, like the original, original set. You know how they remade some of the older cards from like the first generation? Uh, I think it was for their 20th anniversary. They, they remade these kind of cards in this style to make it look off, you know, old and vintage. Well, I have the original cards. I have the original Bulbasaur. I have the original Squirtle. I have the original Onyx, Brock's Rhyhorn, Erica's Execute, uh, Giovanni's Nidoran. I got some Cloisters in here. Like, actual legitimate cards from back in the day. We're talking that old school. And anybody that collects these kind of cards will probably go absolutely insane. Because I have a decent... Cause I, I have a decent amount of these. Here's some more. Of old school. Misty's Polyworld. I have some... Is this, in, is this in German? I think I have a German card for some reason. Electrode. Toto Dial. Magneton Dark Dug Trio. I have an original EB card. Like, this is a really old card. <laughs> I have an Arcanine. And... I got a Flareon. These cards never really... I would probably never sell these because of how old they are. Oh, jeez. Here we go again with, for some reason, I have... Multiple of the same card. I have like four of the- I have four Rhyhorns. Why? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. A lot of these cards, I don't exactly remember how I obtained them. I can tell you how I got some of them. Uh, some of them I got from like, as a birth- uh, a few birthday gifts. Because I had a Pokemon themed birthday party. Um... Probably 2010, 2011, I don't know. Uh, some of these cards I got from school, back in middle school. Uh, some of them I got from elementary school. Some of them I got uh, back when I was going to church. Um, I forgot who it was, but there was someone who didn't want their collection anymore, so they ended up giving it to me, and I think that's where all of these came from. All these old school cards from the first and a little bit of the second generation, because Toto Dial. Um, but yeah, original cards from way back when. Um, some of them I got dumpster diving. Like, I, I just acquired somehow so many cards. I know somewhere, I think it's this one actually, down the line, I actually have where I was trying to build my own decks in case I decided, hey, you know, I want to play with these cards for some reason. You know, I, I feel like playing some Pokemans. Um, and so, all these cards... I don't know if it's in here or if it's somewhere else. Probably is somewhere else. But I know for a fact. I'm sure that's a Japanese card right there. But, uh, oh yeah, here's some more old school cards. Got some Diglets and some Mankeys and some Polywags and Coffings and, 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 and Jigglypuffs and Pidgeys and everything else. 
I don't have all of them. I don't have a Charizard card, and I don't think I'll ever get one. Even the reproduction cards, because, <laughs> goddamn, people go absolutely insane for Charizard, and I really don't know why. Like, yeah, he looks cool, but is he really worth however much they're they're pulling out you know money wise on eBay <laughs> no definitely not like not in the slightest so why do you people do it <laughs> is it cuz oh yeah I want a Charizard card and I'm willing to pay an arm and a leg for it don't just 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 don't Alright, if you're gonna get a Charizard card, you're better off opening card packs that contain Charizards and going that way. I know for a while, whenever I would buy card packs or have other people, other people buy me card packs, for a while I forgot which one it was, what set it was from. But every time I'd get that one particular set, it seemed like... Every card pack I would open, it would contain, like, one of these kind of cards. Like a, a GX, or uh, a legendary Pokemon card, or both. You know, Lugia, Lugia, however you want to pronounce it. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Um, you know, GX. So, a legendary GX card. Oh, <laughs> like. Damn. I, I was getting those kind of cards every pull. At least one rare card. Like, a really rare card. And, uh, I think I kind of built my collection on just that, for the most part. I completely forgot about these... Uh, other cards and... Eh. But yeah, so I have so many cards that I, I feel like if I were to sell them, which I might end up doing at some point because I don't really care much for the trading card game like I used to. I mean, the trading card game is alright, but like I said, if I want to play it, I have options. I could just go and play the Game Boy games or Game Boy Color games. I could go and play the online game. I could... I don't know. I have options. But I'll tell you what, like, if I sold my whole collection of, of like, GX cards and Level X cards and things like that, I would be extremely rich knowing how much of these cards go for insane prices on eBay. Which makes you question, why? Again, I'm gonna ask that question, why? Like, it's not even like Charizard cards are that expensive to create. All these Pokemon cards aren't. It's just that, I mean, I get to some extent the, the rarity of some of these cards. Some of these cards they don't have a whole lot of. But I feel like if you bought a certain amount of cards, you would finally get the one you want. And it would be a lot cheaper than going on eBay or Amazon and finding the very same one that you pulled out uh, from a card pack. And I honestly think that the whole thing of um, all these scalpers online... That's mostly what it is, scalpers, because they think, oh yeah, let's charge people a couple hundred, maybe even a thousand or two for this one card. And I'm over here, just like, what? Why? No, no, like, if you want a card and you're going to pay that kind of money, go and get my cards. Just buy it from me, alright? Buy those cards from me. And at that point, I don't care what you do with them. It's your cards now. Collect them, shove them up your ass. I really don't care. But let's be real. There's a there are some cards I 
would never get rid of, even if I sold my whole collection. Uh, there, there would still be some ones that I would keep. The Eevee ones and all the Eeveelutions, because Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. And all the rare ones. We're, we're talking, like I said, the uh, GXs and the Xs and the Vs and the, the whatever else. You know, those kind of cards. And the legendary Pokemon. Maybe some stage 2s every now and then, because... Look, I like those cards, and I gotta have something in my collection, even though I don't really care much. It's, it's mostly gonna be like the, the commons and uncommons that you can get anywhere. Um, but I have enough of them, that if I were to sell them, I'd still make a pretty decent amount of money. Um, no matter where I'd sell them at. Yard sales, garage sales, eBay, Amazon, doesn't matter. I'd have so many cards that if, if if someone bought all of them individually, or maybe not, just as a as a pack, just as a oh here is a random big thing full of cards, full of Pokemon cards, ice cream bucket full of ice cream, or yeah, full of ice cream. I'll sell you this for like, I don't know, 150 bucks. Maybe 200. Yeah, 200, because there's a lot of cards in here. Take a gamble, why don't you? You know, if, if, the, if the cards are any good, that's great. If not, that's fine too. But I am not responsible if you pull out some shitty cards. And you feel like I'm ripping you off. Even I don't know what's in here. I'm just trying to sell things here. <laughs> or better yet, trade me a PS5. I will trade you all of these for a PS5. One PS5. <laughs> just one. Alright? I don't need two or three. I mean, I do. One for modding and one for regular everyday use. Of being able to go online and things like that. But, you know, <laughs> I don't really think I have... A thousand plus dollars worth of cards here. I mean, maybe in like this one, I might. Depending, cause I, I don't really bother going on eBay because I know that people are insane for this kind of thing. And some of the cards I did show are in these buckets. Obviously, if I, if I were to sell them, I'd take them out and put them somewhere else. Because, like I said, I don't want to get rid of those. But, um,. Yeah, I just have random cards, and I figured, hey, I'm, I'm going to do a video showing off some of them. Most of the rare ones, so I can make you jealous. <laughs> so I know some people out there are going to be extremely jealous. Like, you have that card? I want it! I want it! Yeah, I'll pay you 15000 for this one card! Well, get ready and take a look at all these cards. <laughs> You'll pay me a million. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. I I really just think people are insane when it comes to selling things for a high price when they're not worth it. That's like me selling Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for like $100 or 200 This game isn't worth it. You know, you could buy it secondhand from, like, Amazon or eBay for a lot cheaper. With Zombie Chronicles as well. And that's the one I was showing off. But, you know, people are insane. They'd buy it. There are some people out there, instead of buying the cheaper version out there, you know, the cheapest one that they can find for a good price that contains everything that they want. You know, like, I've seen... A copy of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance on the GameCube for around $300 disc only. No case, no manual, no nothing. Just the game itself. $300. I could buy a Switch for that. <laughs> I could buy a, a pretty decent computer for that. But I wouldn't be about ready to spend my entire, just mostly a paycheck on that, if I ever had money. 
And if I were to, to sell these cards, which I still don't know if I'm actually going to do, I'm thinking about it, because, I mean, these are just, I don't know, just taking up space that I don't really have too much of nowadays. Because I got more video games to buy, more video games to play, more pony merch, more game consoles to collect, more... A lot of other things. I, I don't have, like, room for all of these cards. Because I don't really care about them, let's be real. It's not like I care. But yeah, some of these have some value to me. Like the Eevee cards, because they're my favorite. Pokemon, and the Legendary ones, and things like that. And maybe some Pikachu cards here and there, but... I don't know, I have so many cards, it's ridiculous. And I really... <laughs> I don't know. But I think maybe for now I'll just hold on to them. Because it'll be a pain in the ass to ship them. Just go and be like, yeah, I'm selling these cards. And someone messages me on, on Facebook or on uh, YouTube or whatever. Hey, I'll pay you this much for these two things each I'll pay you 1500 each <laughs> one for this and one for that and I'd be like well okay money first cuz I don't trust people I've been ripped off before I've been scammed before by people they said yeah I'll I'll, I'll give you your money um, or whatever and they just take my shit and you know, they don't even pay me. So, money first. Money first, then the cards. I don't know. But yeah. I'll see you all in the next video. I just gotta show you some more cards in another video. Maybe. I don't know. Peace out, bro. Hope and all that good bullshit.